If you're having friends for dinner, you should be the greatest host. Hungry little girl will show you every single thing to feed them that looks close. Click here to find out 18 hours of garbage day Gabe Newell doesn't want you to know. In the room for this hour, <laughs> Nacho Gulag, Lemon, Boots, Rain Gear, Isfahan, Shell Game, Zarla, Zarla. <laughs> yes. Our artist is Adam Bozarth. My doppelganger is still here. <laughs> uh, one, uh, one, one brief uh, bit of housekeeping to do here. Uh, we are in hour 18. Is that three quarters? That's three quarters. Okay, good math. Cool. Uh, getting there. Uh, and uh, our money total is uh, $10,138.77 raised for the National Network of Abortion Funds, who, again, uh, not only uh, provide the actual logistical money for abortions, but also the logistics <laughs> and those things happening. Um, so uh, they will provide, uh, in, in cases that need it, uh, transportation. Sometimes there's uh, women in need that have a long way to go uh, and uh, uh, health care. Yeah, like child care uh, for those things. Also, uh we, woman. when we were planning to do this didn't actually plan to get this high so uh if you noticed uh when there was the uh the the hansen graphic of the smallest hansen going into the trash can uh, <laughs> and, uh, and that video getting uh more ridiculous over time um so we just we brought that thing to 10 and we were like there we go ten thousand dollars and then like obviously that won't happen so fucking yeah so <laughs> so sanguinary novel has now gone into uh what's the adobe one uh the uh, whatever she went into the adobe uh video editor thing uh and did another five videos uh, <laughs> so awesome. so the hansen graphic will continue to get sillier should the donations donations match it so you know if we get to fifteen thousand. I mean, who knows how ridiculous, I don't know how ridiculous those videos are going to get, but I'm excited to find out. Uh, yeah. So, uh, donate along and let's make that thing happen. You can okay. all discover it together. Yeah, Over I was to you, just Nacho. thinking that. Also, yeah. actually, we'll I'm going to I'm gonna bring up one thing that we haven't mentioned at all in the stream. Uh, hmm. uh, Bump Girl and I programmed in something like 300 different keywords that Albert can respond to in oh. tip notes. Oh, Yes. Um, so, pretty much any single word color that you could think of will will change him to one of 12 colors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. there's 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 about three things. dozen things that Albert can do. Um, he can jog. Uh, he can be on LSD. Um, he <laughs> he was drunk, drunk when uh, when Jack Chick finished up the... Uh, <laughs> appropriately so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can have him. I'm going to get rid of the Sorry, trash. It's only here. it's in donation notes that he cha he's affected. Not, <laughs> not, in, not in Steam chat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do to Albert. Um, so if you put in donation notes uh, with words like uh, cataracts or uh, LSD <laughs> or rave. Oh, rave is a really good one. I don't want to give you rave for free. Um, uh, then uh, things will happen to Albert. Uh, hey, Which, uh, we got some of this happening. <laughs> 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 Ooh, what's the total? 10 4 20 69. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boy. Nice. <laughs> I'm just excited to see how this could possibly get more ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got weed sex. You're right, JR Ross. Um, so that, that last do donation came from someone named Cumpot. <laughs> Yay. And it, says, and, it says, and it says, hold on. Hi. Yes. yes. From Mexico. Yeah. Yes. I love you all. <laughs> yes, come pot. Nice. We oh. miss you, come pot. <laughs> okay, I'm hosting. This is great. Um, the document is "Hungry Little Girl" provided to us by Mix. So thank hey, you, Mix. Mix. And well, basically, "Hungry Little Girl" is a one woman all recipes. Um, oh. But uh, Zarla, oh. could you read the about me for you, for us? Uh. <laughs> Just give me just a second here, because yeah. um, let me All see. Right. There we go. I gotta have it loaded up. Let's see. <laughs> see, facts about me. 
That's me. I'm in my mid twenties, Mary. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot the most important thing. Everybody has mm -hmm. to do their best German accent for this talk. <laughs> oh, 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 this is gonna be a fiasco. Uh, uh, tune. That's. I can do an. I can do an accent. I can't promise to be German accent. Just give it your best try. Uh, I am in my mid twenties, married. No, married. <laughs> mother of a wonderful son, and just moved to the United States. Originally, I am from Germany, where I have learned the job of a doctor's assistant. Right now, I am just housewife, but means too much time for all that good cooking and baking stuff. My addiction: there's lots of food and kitchen supplies I just can't live without. Ground beef, chocolate, whipped cream, tin foil. Parchment paper, paper towel, chickpeas, oatmeal, milk, and ice cream are just a few things <laughs> I would never ever <laughs> I would never <laughs> ever want to live without and what I always have a ton of at home. Me and food. I love food and I love to eat, especially all the sweet stuff. The passion for food comes from eating all my grandpa's food. I grew up oh, with my no. grandparents and I honestly think my grandpa was the best chef ever. But Everything what did your he grandpa eat? <laughs> Everything he made tasted so great, and he did it all without recipes, just by tasting again and again. Getting older, I was allowed to help him in the kitchen. I used it to take notes and kind of train my palate. Since then, I'm always on the search for new challenges, new crazy recipes, and inspiring ideas. I spent most of my days in the kitchen trying and creating, but my husband and son appreciate lots because they get to eat all the delicious outcomes. Yes, mm. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, it's all kind of arranged by snacks to 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 next meal to whatever. Um, so, Isohan, can you please Hi. read us the first, well, the second recipe, which is chocolate bacon deviled eggs? Oh. <laughs> okay, everyone, pay attention. <laughs> so, this is one chocolate of those creations of mine now. that you definitely don't serve every day. <laughs> it's something that many of you will have a hard time to believe it even tastes good. But I can promise you, you won't regret making it. <laughs> These chocolate bacon deviled eggs happened because my Facebook stream was floated by a deviled egg recipes. <laughs> they all look the same. Not that I don't like normal deviled eggs, but I think we all know by now how to make them. So I thought I'd bring a crazy touch to them and turn them into a snack for special moments. This is like if you're that, a guest at my house, this is something I would days. serve. You cannot <laughs> escape. <a> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. We eat the egg and chocolate combo all the time in cakes, cookies, and co. So before you judge, give them a try. <laughs> Who are you to judge me? Yes. Chocolate bacon deviled eggs. <laughs> Here's what you will need. You will need 12 eggs. Mm. A half cup instant chocolate pudding powder. Oh. <laughs> quarter to half cup coconut milk, canned. Well, One third okay. cup bacon bits. Oh yes, I should mention she's uh, mostly paleo. <laughs> oh, I hate that there's twelve eggs because that means that people have to eat up to twenty-four of them. Oh my god. Oh yeah, chocolate pudding powder, like what the caveman used to eat. Mm -hmm. I'll just fly <laughs> off the shelves. Here's how you make it: you boil the eggs until they are hard-boiled eggs. Smiley face. Peel them. <laughs> Cut them in half and gently take the egg yolk out. In a medium bowl, combine egg yolk, quarter cup coconut milk, and quarter cup chocolate pudding powder until smooth. Now you have to see if you need more of the remaining ingredients to reach the texture and sweetness you want. Play a little with the measuring. <laughs> Fill the egg whites, mit chocolate mousse, and sprinkle some bacon bits on each egg. Oh, by the way, you just made chocolate mousse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> and then place in fridge until you serve them. <laughs> and to resurrect an old joke from an F plus recipe episode, so place them in fridge forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny podcast. Well, I, I think maybe that's enough for appetizers. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we go on to main courses? Shell game. Can you scroll oh, yeah. down and uh, go to sides and seasonal and read for us the spooky. Spaghetti stuffed bell peppers. Oh. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky spaghetti stuffed bell peppers, huh? All right. All right. I want I want to give just a little bit of backstory to this as I, I just typed it out in chat, but I think it's kind of interesting. Is that uh, I mix had this doc in, in the in the hopper, and I was like, well, it, it seems pretty good, but I think I feel like we'd need the images for this to work in a live stream. Um, yeah. But the but the the website this call comes from is now down. Oh no! Uh, so I was like, "Hey, Mix, do you you don't happen to have the images?" And then Mix came back and said, "Well, 
they're on the Facebook page, but there's like hundreds of them to sift through. I was like, well, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about <laughs> red? <laughs> you probably just had a bookmark. So now, we got, so now we got these images in here now. <laughs> you went above and beyond, Mix. <laughs> right. Believed in this. Yeah. It's dark enough to do it. This is this is, okay. Spooky spaghetti stuffed bell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is dish three of my easy to make Halloween ideas. T together with my wonderful friend Dawn from Spatulas on Parades, I have posted <laughs> an idea for your Halloween party now weekly. <laughs> this week we wanted to show some dinner ideas. Since I am not uh, blessed with the art gene, I, I, I took something very simple that everyone can make, even if you consider yourself totally talent-free and it's, and it's <laughs> cheap. So even if your budget is really tight right now, you can bring something spooky to the table with these spaghetti-stuffed bell peppers. Going French, whatever. I don't. It's European. Uh, I went for. I went, Q, oh, QM oh. squirrel in the chat writes, "This bell peppers belongs to me." Dur dur. <laughs> <laughs> it's very slowly coming this way. Uh, I just want to point out that we got a donation for one dollar one cent from Public Enemy Number Six that says "Rave," and there goes, <laughs> there goes Albert. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah. That took a while to make that. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I, went for, I went for Mexican style. It means I use taco seasoning instead of normal spaghetti sauce. If you ask me, it also fits better to the bell peppers. Yeah. <laughs> the taste is great, and if you dim the lights a little, maybe even just some candles equals spooky haha, -ha, <laughs> you can tell a story <laughs> about... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell a story about how the heads of these evil bell peppers exploded and their brains, spaghetti, popped out. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> so with this, I am going to end the Halloween dishes for the year. No more Halloween dishes. No. The Halloween what you dishes need. all over. What you, need, <laughs> what you need. Four bell peppers. One pounds ground beef. One <laughs> packaged taco seasoning. Uh, uh, One. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mexican. One <laughs> cup tomato sauce, eight ounces spaghetti, pa parmesan for topping, optional. <laughs> How do you make it? Preheat your oven to eight, 380 F. DC your bell peppers. <laughs> DC you bell peppers! <laughs> <laughs> I command you. <laughs> Cut pumpkin faces into your bell pepper into you bell peppers. <laughs> Place them on a cookie sheet and put them in the oven for 25 minutes. Meanwhile, cook spaghetti according to package direction. In a large pan, spray uh, sprayed with cooking spray brown the ground beef. Add taco seasoning and the water it calls for on the package. Let simmer until it is all, until all liquid is gone. Add tomato sauce and spaghetti and cook for another 10 minutes. Once bell peppers are done, fill them with spaghetti. Yeah. With a, tw with a tweezers, pull some spaghetti through the eyes and mouth and serve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a face. I did. I, yeah. I'm only yeah, now it's a picking face. up the original <laughs> Jack o' Lantern. I totally didn't figure that out until now. Yeah, no, so no, this no, might be a little late. This might be a little late to say this, but I apologize to every German person watching. Like that. <laughs> yes. And I apologize to anybody throughout Europe because I can't do any one of you. <laughs> Looks more like a spooky, like, spaghetti half a bowling ball. I mean, it's a stuffed bell pepper in so far that she cut a bell pepper in half and then just dumped spaghetti in it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you guys like pizza? Hell yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Awesome, I mean, awesome. I mean, I'm on the West Coast, but, you I got know, this we, recipe we got that you guys are going to love then. It's a pumpkin pizza. Yeah. Oh, uh, pizza. hang on. What? I mean, this what? could be okay. Maybe. <laughs> a pumpkin what? pizza? Why, you ask? Simply because my husband wanted fresh roasted pumpkin seeds. So we had to buy a huge pumpkin and have to eat it now all week long. You have to. Smelly face. Did you I also have everything... to make it into a fucking pizza? 
Yes. I made everything possible with it already. So I needed to come up with something different. Everything. My pumpkin pizza. Actually, I don't know how I could live so long without this pizza. Topped so thick and so delicious. I really no. enjoyed every bite. <laughs> I really recommend Did you really? olives on it. But my husband hates them. So for <coughs> us, I had to leave it away. If you don't know what to do with all that pumpkin, this is definitely something awesome. Pumpkin and <laughs> olives. What you need? One refrigerated whole wheat pizza dough. Mm. One and a half pounds fresh pumpkin, grated. I'm just going all in on the pumpkin, okay. One yeah. onion chopped. <laughs> so much of it left. <laughs> two tablespoons garlic powder. Two tablespoons dried sage. Is... One half pound sliced smoked turkey cut what? into stripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what you find on no! pizza. Yeah, you know. <laughs> one fourth cup sour cream, fat free. Oh. <laughs> and no. one cup shredded cheese, fat reduced. So <laughs> yeah. the taste. How you make it? And then maybe how do you make it? <laughs> Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Press pizza dough into your pizza pan. Spray a large skillet with cooking spray and bring over high heat. Add grated pumpkin, onion, and garlic. Cook for five minutes. Turn down heat to medium low. Add sage, turkey, salt, and pepper, and cook for ten minutes. What? Spread yeah. sour cream That's over sage? pizza dough. <laughs> Place pumpkin mixture evenly over it. Top with shredded cheese and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Start, start and people will bite into it and tell you your, your cornbread sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so in lieu of any sauce, you just dump sour cream on it with nothing else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same yep. thing. Okay, um, boots. There's, a, there's two tablespoons of sage. What more do you want? <laughs> you're right. You're right. I, I forgot. I won't care about the sour cream because I'll too be, be too busy coughing up the rest of it. <laughs> hey, Boots, you know what's really paleo? What's really paleo? Pretzels. <laughs> Pretzels are totally paleo. So, so in the spirit of being paleo, could you please oh. read us the Bavarian pretzel casserole? Okay. And, you said, and there's a rule to this? <laughs> Are you sure? The, are you sure the pretzel German accent? Okay. German <laughs> accent. German all right. accent. Ooh, we all did it. We are reading the Bavarian pretzel casserole. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Punish yeah, me, Mr. Like Rain Gear. <laughs> oh no! The recipe begins now. Besides the messy boy, I can't do accents. No, besides, do it. Besides my family, <laughs> there are a couple things I miss <laughs> so much about home. I miss my city, <laughs> the best city in the world. One day, I will have to write a post about it. I miss all the festival, and my especially miss the food. The Bavarian pretzel casserole. It's getting French. It's one of those. <laughs> <dishes. laughs> you do. <laughs> we make when we are a press or a leftover. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's the it's a Stog's trademark sampler platter. <laughs> Before it gets hot. Backpacking around Europe with that accent. <laughs> we we turn them into dinner dish. It really doesn't matter. If you use French pretzels <laughs> or some that are a couple days old, maybe you even have bakery. <laughs> okay, near you. Uh, yeah, no, the accent's called the Eurozone. <laughs> you can do it. Keep in going. Ho in honor of Eurovision, which just completed. <laughs> right. <laughs> use them to get there. Normally, I bake them myself, but this time I decided spontaneously to make the dish. I used frozen one. Of course, baked in the oven before. Now, if you can get the real salami, <laughs> salami <laughs> for this dish, it would be great. But it's so expensive here that I went with the pepperoni. <laughs> there are not many things that can go wrong with this casserole. Throw in whatever Ooh, you're you want. You're about to see a picture that's going to prove otherwise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Throw in whatever you want. Bake and enjoy. You can, <laughs> you can dip okay. all Try. the kinds of sauces. Ranch, uh, BB, uh. BBQ, or radish. 
Okay, that'll help. <laughs> that was that'll very help. Or, or you do it like we do it. Make some brown gravy <laughs> and make some good, strong beer. To oh, so this is German poutine. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, but like all compacted together. <laughs> so, yeah. It's more yeah, efficient it's that like, way. It's German efficiency. Yeah, it's efficiency. Oh, it's right. Middle Europe and Middle America just crashing yep. into each other. Now you know where the Midwestern recipes come from. <laughs> um, oh, here's what you do <laughs> with the beer. <laughs> Dip it in and drink the remaining beer while eating. <laughs> you forget. Look at, look at that picture. It will get more and more delicious the more beer you drink. Look at that picture. <laughs> Most of those yeah. toppings are falling yeah, into the beer. Put, yeah, put oh, yeah. that... Put that fucking chunk of I don't know inside of your beer. What you need? Man, beer goggles for your tongue. <laughs> uh, Twelve ounces pretzel chunks, big already what? ripped into one inch pieces. An half half cup half cup scallions chopped, half cup uh -huh. white onion chopped, half cup pepperoni or salami chopped, four <laughs> cloves of garlic chopped. A quarter cup of fresh parsley, finely chopped. Oh, what am I not chopping in this? One <laughs> tablespoon of baking powder, which you're just oh. throwing onto pretzel chunks? Mm -hmm. Finely chopped. Yeah. What's that going to oh, do? Shit. What, the, what, the good Lord, what the good loving fuck is that going to do? <laughs> it's thickening agent. <laughs> you your, your pretzels are already goddamn cooked. <laughs> you don't throw baking powder on things you've already baked. Just gives it a nice dusting. Yeah. <laughs> gives, it, gives it that. that, that I need a strong base, as in the yeah. opposite of Come on, boots, you got a lot more recipes to get through. Oh, sorry. A quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, salt and pepper to taste. A third of a cup of beer. Uh, two thirds of a cup of milk. Uh, two eggs. One and a quarter cups of shredded cheese. Fuck, who cares what kind of cheese? <laughs> I, 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 I want to point out that she did advocate a strong beer, and I think I understand why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah except for she described a German Hefeweizen as a strong beer, which... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's well, like a light, wheaty beer. Well, compared to a Heineken, sure. Yeah. Well, she's German. She's got she's to represent. Fair. Mm. Uh, how you make it, combine all the ingredients in a large bowl and let soak a little. Oh, <laughs> soak? In your tears. <laughs> Soak in the, in the egg? Uh, egg and milk, yep. Prepare your and oven beer. to a very specific 395 degrees Fahrenheit. Baking. Line, <laughs> an eight inch, eight inch casserole dish with parchment paper. After 20 minutes of soaking, pour a mixture into casserole dish. Sprinkle shredded cheese on top and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Fabulous! Yeah. You know that, that casserole was so great that uh, Isfahan, I think we're going to do another casserole before we move on to desserts. Um, <laughs> so could you Better. please go to the next casserole, which is fish stick rice casserole. Oh no! <laughs> fish stick rice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Alright everyone, like it's time for the fish stick <laughs> rice casserole. <laughs> ah, such a thing. Fish sticks. They are yummy and super easy slash fast to make, but they are also full of fat. And if you just eat one serving size, as they show it on the package, package. you will stay unsatisfied and hungry. <laughs> My husband loves fish sticks, so I had I to find a way <laughs> to combine it with healthier food and turn it into a delicious dish. And hey, I did it. <laughs> Boring fish sticks turned into a fancy casserole. That even your kids mm, will love. Fancy. Yep, fancy. fancy. Okay. I know when, I, when I think healthy food, I think casserole. Casserole. <laughs> fancy casserole. With oh, you love fish it. sticks. Fish sticks. <laughs> sticks made of fish. You don't need lots of ingredients. And the whole thing is on the table in about 40 minutes. Wow. What you need? One and one half cups cooked rice. One cup heavy cream, or half and half. Uh, Twelve fish sticks, frozen. Uh, one and one half cup shredded cheese. Uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper, parsley, and oregano. Uh, quantities uh, up to you, I guess. <laughs> no quantity is provided. Given that you're making it for your fish stick loving husband, it's probably going to be whatever he jumps in. <laughs> Those fish sticks could probably use some salt, I'm just saying. Uh, 
uh, but here's what makes it healthy. Uh, two cups broccoli or any oh. other vegetables you like. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Is <laughs> how you make it. Why is vegetables not in scare quotes? <laughs> hey, broccoli is a real vegetable. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, I know, but the dismissiveness with which it was put in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, broccoli. Because, like, look at the yeah. picture. Like, it's not actually part of the meal. Like, it's just a bed of it's, shit that will be. It's a ignored. garnish. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's either pushed to the side or hidden underneath. <laughs> She has to trick her husband, I mean children, to into eating it. Here's how you make it. Uh, preheat your oven to 395 degrees Fahrenheit. If you use 400 degrees, it will burn. <laughs> All of these recipes. If you use broccoli, uh, you need to pre-cook it a little bit. If? If you use broccoli. Uh, you mix together the cooked rice, heavy cream, half cup cheese, and all your spices. And all your spices. <laughs> until well combined. Fold in the broccoli. Uh, transfer into a nine inch baking pan. Top mit fish sticks and one cup cheese. Bake for about 30 minutes. <laughs> and uh, then you'll have what is depicted on the screen in front of you yes. right now. Yeah, it trails <laughs> off into nothing. <laughs> Well, gosh, I, I think that's enough for, for dinner. Uh, so why don't we move on to the desserts? Um, mm. Let's take it from the top. Zarla, mm. could you uh, read the first dessert recipe for us? Oh, no! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no! Sadly. This is a word that's used correctly. Oh! <laughs> I'm just going to go say some random words together. Blueberry jalapeno peanut butter fudge. Healthy. <laughs> I know how crazy this fudge sounds, but it is amazing. I got some blueberry jalapeno. I agree that it's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) From Yay Primo. And I wanted to put it in something special. Everyone can spread it on bread or use it as a dip. But since I am not everyone, I had to come up with something. I bought something that I couldn't use, so I'm inflicting it on you. (laughs) Head shaking emoji. Well, Ye Primo preserves are 100% natural and vegan friendly, so why not turning it into a healthy fudge? That's pretty much how my blueberry jalapeno peanut butter fudge came alive. It's alive! Alive! (laughs) Four simple ingredients, two minutes preparing, 15 minutes freezing, and you are good to go. This is a freezer fudge, so you will eat it right out of the freezer. There's no need to thaw it. The coconut oil won't let it get hard, just firm enough to be a fudge. If it's cold enough, you won't be able to taste it, so yeah. Says <laughs> simple ingredients, but I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I just go to the store and pick up some blueberry jalapeno preserves. <laughs> Well, of course you can substitute any other preserves here, oh. but, if, but if you want to have something unusual, try this one, Smiley. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> what you need? Four tablespoons crunchy peanut butter, four tablespoons coconut oil, three heaping tablespoons blueberry jalapeno preserves, no, it's There's an like, asterisk. There is. Made with Ye Primo Specialty Foods, 100% natural and vegan friendly preserves. This is not you, sponsored. you think she's on the, the Ye Primo uh, payroll there? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half tablespoons honey. Like how you make it? In a medium bowl, mix to mix, Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> yeah, Mike. <laughs> Mike together all ingredients with an electric mixer until smooth. Pour into a container and freeze. Notes, you eat that fudge right out of the freezer. No need to thaw it first. Yeah, that's what you do. Just keep the freezer door open. Stand in front of it. <laughs> it's <laughs> just, like, yeah, just like the, the steam coming out of the freezer just envelops you. And... <laughs> Put Say, the ball down. Uh, no balls. Say show game. Yeah. Uh, you're a millennial, aren't you? I certainly am. No, I've heard, I, I've I heard, heard that you. millennials love avocado. Oh jeez, I love avocado on everything. Oh well, great, it's a, then you're it's gonna a reason love we can't buy houses. You're about to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, avocado caramel bacon cheesecake. Can oh boy, that? that's another uh, thing that I like. Bacon. What? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, how did I? How did I, a millennial, manage to put two things together that I love so much? 
Well, there goes my beach house. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder I don't have a 401k. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I, I posted a recipe for bacon parmesan broiler avocado. You can find the recipe here. Uh, it was such a big success that I thought there must be a way to turn this into a dessert dish. Because why would I think anything else? It, it looks like it looks like key lime pie that you would serve to someone and just like to completely shock their taste buds. Yeah, a, a practical joke. Yes. Yeah. I'm just. I'm, I'm really just enjoying what Adam's got on the screen right now. <laughs> there are no limits, no <laughs> laws with Hungry Girl. <laughs> and there are no is. laws in Hungry Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. Tested and approved by my husband. Avocado caramel bacon cheesecake. And my <laughs> husband is the one who liked fish, who liked fish stick casserole, so you know you can trust him. <laughs> and here it is. Tested and approved by my husband. I. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sounds, cl- sounds crazy, right? What? Even I had my doubts at the time. Oh, even I had my doubts this time. If I wouldn't go too far with my crazy combo dishes, but the results taught me to trust my guts. <laughs> 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 the flavors are amazing. Sweet avocado tastes heavenly. Uh, a little caramel in the crust and candied bacon on top finish it off perfectly. <laughs> and I think I don't have to mention the incredibly creamy texture. I really hope you dare to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> if I your courage you know lacking. What's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you need for this cheesecake. One cup all-purpose flour. One half cup butter. One third cup caramel topping sugar-free. Twelve ounces cream cheese fat reduced. Two ripe avocados, medium to large size. One cup sugar. One cup teaspoon vanilla extract. Oh, sorry, one teaspoon vanilla extract. Uh, four eggs. One teaspoon lemon juice. Uh, oh, you're, Lemon, you're in this. Uh, five to six stripes <laughs> of bacon. <laughs> and, uh, uh, God, I hate fruit stripe bacon. It just loses <laughs> back. Uh, oh, two yeah. tablespoons brown sugar. <laughs> this is a millennial joke. You're welcome. Uh, how to make it. Uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Spray a pie form with cooking spray. In a large bowl, combine flour, butter, and caramel for the crust until crumbly. Uh, press your p- press it into your pri- pie form. Try to get the sides up completely. Her like her her pie crust looks so fucking disgusting. No, <laughs> get them up completely. I think it, looks, it just looks like a really thick layer of uncooked dough. Yeah, well, that's because yeah. there's no breading agent in it. It's just <laughs> flour, butter, and caramel. So it's just yes. more. It's just more goo. That's what that's what my husband wanted to eat. It's wet <laughs> like butcher a pie crust with butter. The the like the liquid content of his eh, whatever. <laughs> Bake for fifteen minutes. Take out and turn down the heat to only three hundred and five degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> take, but make sure you take it out first, and then you just leave your oven going. In a large bowl, combine cream cheese, sugar, vanilla eggs, and lemon juice. Scrape out the avocados and add the cream. Add to cream cheese mixture. Mix until very smooth. Pour into pre-baked pipe crust and bake for forty-five minutes. There might be some filling left over. You can bake it later in muffin cups and serve some crushed oil. And, uh, no, you can bake oil. it later, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> you just throw no, out another crazy you thing. You can. You will do it. You will do it, worm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn it on again. <laughs> Let's cool on the counter for 30 minutes, then place in fridge for at least another two hours. Preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Uh, line a baking sheet with parchment paper, put brown sugar in a medium bowl, and toss bacon, kept proper noun bacon in it. <laughs> Add arranged bacon in a single layer on the baking sheet, sprinkle with remaining sugar, cover with more parchment paper, and top with another baking sheet so that the bacon stays flat. <laughs> uh, bake for 20 minutes, immediately remove from baking sheets, break into small pieces, and stick them into the cheesecake. <laughs> just anywhere in them. <laughs> Jab it in. Just, just like, a, like a stake into the heart of the vampire. You just push it in there. 
<laughs> My cheesecake looks like a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw it out fast. <laughs> Well, you know, that sounds great, but uh, sometimes I just don't have the time to make a whole cheesecake. So I thought I'd go with the avocado caramel mug cake instead. Oh, boy. <laughs> avocado caramel mud cake. Oh, Welcome to the second crazy ingredient challenge. Oh, Each boy. month, several wonderful bloggers and me have come up with a dish that combines two ingredients you would normally not put together. This month's challenge was avocado and caramel. I have to say this combo wasn't too new to me. A while back, I had created this avocado caramel bacon cheesecake, a crazy good piece, I am telling you. Yeah. But that time, I focused lots on getting the color and using the creaminess of the avocado. Well, this time, I totally focused on the amazing health benefits an avocado has. Oh, and on something that can be prepped for mi in minutes and eaten even faster. I am making lots of desserts in the microwave recently simply because it fits the stress in my personal life right now better than standing in the kitchen for hours. <laughs> That's who the idea for this avocado caramel mug cake started. Let me start by saying that this whole thing is one serving size. Yes, you all alone can eat all that absolutely guilt-free. I always use sugar-free combo sauce, but this time I had one from Walden Farms at home with zero calories, even better. But this whatever a, caramel a, sauce you want to use is up to you. I also show you some listeners. choices. As a picture of the listeners, just so you're aware, uh, the thing that Adam is currently drawing on is the avocado caramel mug. Cake. <laughs> yeah. I also show you a, some a nutshell. Yes. Can I, can I also tell you that it, it, I, I was trying to find this entry in in the document, so I, I hit Control F for uh, avocado, and it, the word avocado appears in this document 27 times. Yeah, that's, that's half the recipes. Yeah, <laughs> she really loves avocado. I wonder why she's in her mid twenties. <laughs> yep, the cake will not. Okay, yes, but whatever caramel sauce you want to use is up to you. I also show you some choices with the flour, just in case you don't like whole wheat flour. The cake will mm. not feel completely ready when done microwaving, but don't worry. Within ten minutes, it sets down. Smiley face. <laughs> Top it with whatever you want. I just prefer fresh fruit and also Walden Farms chocolate sauce. The cake hmm. is absolutely moist and fluffy, sweet, and depending on what your ingredients use, pretty full of good nutrition. <laughs> is it? I mean, you could put good <laughs> things in there if you want, but... <laughs> I added green fruit coloring, just to make more clear that this is made with avocados. Oh, come be on! <laughs> <laughs> but be I aware did. that it will turn into I a ugly brown the avocados man a bit. with his fucking absence. <laughs> <laughs> into an ugly brown due to the mix of colors. So if you want the beauty on the plate, you might want to add some food coloring too, smelly face. Just, just letting you know it look like that my food? picture is a yeah. jam. It's not going to taste like food. It might as well not look like it either. <laughs> <laughs> what you need? Three and a half tablespoons whole wheat flour. Four tablespoons caramel sauce, sugar-free. One half teaspoon yeah. baking powder. One fourth cup avocado mashed. And four tablespoons almond milk. Skim works too. Skim uh, almond milk? How do you <laughs> yeah. Combine all ingredients until smooth. Spray a four inch ramekin with cooking spray. A large cup works too. Pour <laughs> batter into ramekin. Microwave on high for about two minutes, 15 seconds. <laughs> That's going to be a different amount for every microwave out there. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. I think we've got time for two more recipes. Hopefully. Yay. Um, so, <laughs> Espahan, hi. 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 <laughs> you know what you should read? You should read the Fudgy Lime Lemon Poke Bars. Oh. Well, they're also green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, green lot of the things oh. that she makes are either yellow or green. <laughs> green is mm -hmm. the healthiest food color. <laughs> this is this is the color of the stuff that the goblins kept trying to get that family to eat in Troll 2. No, I was thinking that exact thing, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> After baking so many poke cakes recently, I wanted to make something a little different, so I was making some poke bars. Really, I, really I first, fudgy I first ones. Read that Do as, you like, know what that cakes, word means? And I was thinking yeah. of, like, the Hawaiian, like, raw fish salad thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, you think it was poke? Pokey. She's just, she's okay. just keeps saying fudge. That's fudge. Yeah, like, if, you, if you take a bunch of ingredients and mash them together into a goo, it's fudge. If you oh, get cut at okay, square, I'm it's sorry. fudge. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'm, I'm a stupid millennial here. I don't know 
I don't know what fudge is. I'm sorry. Fudge is good. <laughs> well, for one thing, it should be chocolate or some kind of like <laughs> nah, close yeah, to chocolate good, yeah, flavor. Yeah. I'm learning that that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, really fudgy ones. I also needed some change to all the sweet stuff I usually make. Since the opposite of sweet is sour, <laughs> oh, decided to go with lemon and lime. Or bitter, And here's whatever. they are. My lime lemon poke bars. I was kind of surprised that they really turned out that delicious. It's almost <laughs> like I'm a genius and can't do anything <laughs> She's wrong. She's always surprised by how well yeah. it turned out. <laughs> I, 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 I needed to come up with the opposite of sweet, so I, the genius, determined that lemon and lime would be a good combination. <laughs> mm. Even like she that. seems dubious about how these all turn I out. I like the sprite in that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I was kind of surprised that they really turned out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some are fudgy and creamy together. Some are feeling on my plate. It's the right thing <laughs> if you're not just if you're just not ready to give up on summer yet. The next day, I cut them up into one-inch cubes, stuck some toothpicks in them, and we dip them in some chocolate syrup. What? You should try that too. It was amazing. <laughs> Here is what you need. No, I will oh. not. I was trying to avoid sugar, and so I made these. But then it I was amazing. Sugar anyway, it will amaze you too. I don't dip lemons or limes into chocolate. I'm not going to dip this into chocolate. <laughs> you limit yourselves. That is why you fail. <laughs> oh. Open your mind. <laughs> That's why I don't have a four hundred one k. Yes. <laughs> quarter, what? What you do have though is a quarter cup butter softened, oh, quarter cup okay. applesauce. Half cup sugar, one egg, two cups all-purpose flour, uh, two teaspoons baking powder, mm. one teaspoon salt, third cup buttermilk, quarter cup lemon juice. You will have to wash all of your measuring cups by the time I'm done with you. <laughs> two tablespoons sour cream, one teaspoon lemon zest, one box jello lime gelatine dessert. This is a fucking finicky recipe. <laughs> yeah. Half cup heavy cream. One box vanilla pudding powder, half cup milk, half cup lemon juice, 10 crushed vanilla wafers, optional. Oh, okay, you're going to taste two things, which is going to be the lime jello and the vanilla wafers. <laughs> like, all of the rest of that shit is completely extraneous. <laughs> yeah, well, I love it chocolate. It's like eating a Muppet. Here's <laughs> how you make it. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a 8-inch brownie pan with parchment paper. In a large bowl, bring together butter, applesauce, sugar, and eggs. Mix until fluffy. Add apples until fluffy. You'll be mixing for the <laughs> yeah. rest of your life. You uh, bring them together. <laughs> add flour, <laughs> baking so powder, salt, buttermilk, lemon juice, sour cream, and lemon zest. You never Mixed made in. a meringue with applesauce. Come on. <laughs> it's just there's nothing in that mixture that would fluff. But I anyway. to separate the apple from the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Mix until very well combined. Place batter in your brownie pan and bake for 30 minutes. Let cool for only two minutes. Then poke lots of holes in the bars. Works oh, best mit the end of a wooden spoon. Prepare lime jello. Only one cup of boiling water. And pour the bars while still hot. Place oh. in fridge and kill until cooled and set. That's Beat so heavy cream until idea. very stiff. Set aside. Prepare the vanilla pudding with half cup milk and half cup lemon juice. When pudding is set, fold in whipped cream. Spread over cooled bars and place back in the fridge for another hour. Right before serving, sprinkle some crushed vanilla wafers on top. I'm not sure what? how uh, Adam Bozarth right now is able to draw a mirror on the screen. <laughs> that is precisely, if I took a selfie with my cell phone right now, that's what that would look like. <laughs> well, you know, that, that that was a beautiful, beautiful recipe. And so are the rest of these recipes. There's so many amazing ones to choose from. I mean, coconut crack bars, uh, mango chickpea uh, uh Mango chickpea cake, apple cake with mango cream. Uh, oh. Healthy oh. carrot cake bars that are dairy, sugar, egg, and flour free. But What are they then? <laughs> They're just carrots. 
<laughs> I think there's really only one, one all. recipe that we can end on, and I, I really hope you can get the picture of that up there for everybody to look at, Lemon. I'm sure I can. Um, I don't know boots. What this is. Oh, no. Boots, my friend. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Last recipe of the night. It's all yours. Oh, no. okay. um, the carrot pineapple cake surprise pie, please. Oh, okay. God. Okay. <laughs> I zwei drei vier. <laughs> a couple of weeks yes. ago, I made a funny cake for the surprise Aww. recipe swap. I've just got a really good Canadian accent. It's okay. I'm a German <laughs> with a very good Canadian accent. And <laughs> fell in love with it. Cake in a pie crust is one of my new favorites. So I was inspired to do more of those cakes slash pies. And this carrot pineapple surprise cake pie. <laughs> I cannot... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is my first yeah. creation. I know there will be lots more to follow. Oh, that's a threat. <laughs> Such a moist cake. Put the of... money in the fucking bag. <laughs> <laughs> Such a moist cake inside a flaky, buttery <laughs> crust. A slight touch of coconut and a surprise banana layer on the bottom. Oh, that's the surprise? Oh, is that what that translucent shit is on the bottom? <laughs> oh, gross. It's moldy banana. That's, that's the gray goo that you find. <laughs> <laughs> that keeps your crust really wet. <laughs> the space on the bottom can be filled with whatever surprise you'd like. Maybe, <laughs> <up> <laughs> maybe some peanut butter cups maybe mango what? strawberries shredded zu- shredded zucchini you uh, how decide does peanut butter cut? no avocado wow i finished it off with chocolate <laughs> frosting and found it was the perfect fit but, oh. but feel free to top it however you like Get inspired and make it your own surprise cake pie, Smiley. Well, well, thank, thank you, hungry you. little girl. Just, just <laughs> dump whatever girl. you fe- you find in your cupboard and fridge into a pie crust. Yeah. <laughs> well, she yeah. believes in you. Okay. Uh, here's what you need. One and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, Half cup of butter, cold. Stop using butter in your fucking pie crust, lady. <laughs> no. Hey, now. It's vegetable serving, you idiot. <laughs> uh, three tablespoons of ice water, one cup of all-purpose flour, which... Wait, is that... Okay, because oh, it's a cake, right? One teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, oh boy, uh, three quarters cups of sugar, one third cup of canola oil, one uh. large egg, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of carrots grated, one half cup of coconut flakes, optional, one half cup of crushed pineapple, drained. I guess I'm just relieved that carrots made it in at all. <laughs> Afterthought. Yeah. yeah, I thought that. Yeah, because it's very clearly not a real carrot, carrot on top of it. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's the orange pieces. In, it looks yeah. like the it looks like the filling in an egg roll or something. Yeah, it's <laughs> marzipan. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that this carrot cake has just giant chunks of chunks of carrots just strewn throughout it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what carrot cake is, right? Look, well, yeah. I mean, if, if you didn't see those, you'd at least see the ch- giant frosting carrot on top. I like, I like that all the pineapples seem to just be in one spot too. Anyway, um, <laughs> how you make it in a large bowl? Combine flour, salt, and sugar for the crust. Cut butter in pieces and add to flour mixture. Oh my uh, mix only with fingertips until crumbly. Do not use your knuckles. <laughs> add ice water and combine with fingertips real quick so that it stays in a ball shape. Wrap in plastic wrap and place in fridge some for butter. at least one hour. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Roll out your pie dough and transfer it into 8-inch pie baking pan. In a large bowl, mix together flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, sugar, oil, egg, and vanilla until just combined. Please do that just with a combined. spatula. Everything else will overmix it. <laughs> and we can't have those carrots going anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do mix things with a mixer? Gross. <laughs> fold, in, fold in carrots, coconut, and pineapple. Pour into pie crust and bake for 45 minutes. Let cool completely before putting on your favorite frosting. 
Oh, you're frosting this fucker. Okay. <laughs> chocolate, yeah. works, chocolate yeah. works so great with the flavors. Just imagine. Just, just, I doubt it. <laughs> no, oh, that, it, was, it that was that was great. And I'm so sad that we can't read all the other wonderful recipes she has. But no. uh, like banana cottage cheese pie. <laughs> that's right. Or her uh, delightful tiramisu. Mm. Chickpea apple cake with mango cream? <laughs> yep. Cool. Okay, so uh, what did we learn from this document? Why this site went offline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned uh, who the world's most patient husband is. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps I, I, the world's I, most accommodating husband. <laughs> It's going to be helpful for my blog if I can say hubby loved it. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I learned that I should use my fingertips if I ever want my vegetables to just be blatantly obvious where they are in whatever I cook. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Just don't let common sense limit you. Just cook whatever you want. Just put it all together. Yeah, e- each here. each recipe had at least one part where she said, you can use whatever you want here. Yeah, mix it up all. It's like, that's not encouraging when it comes to recipes. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, people do it all the time, though, with like all recipes and stuff. They're like, this is great. And they switched out this and this and this and this. So she's really just cutting to the chase. Yeah, yeah. she's cutting to the chase of, of, of subtracting the fact that she's any kind of expert whatsoever and just saying, you've got to change it anyway. Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Strawberry cream egg rolls? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, hour 18. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. <sighs> Feeling it too. <laughs> <buddy. laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next is our nineteen. Uh, that is our wiki feet episode. Aww, <laughs> oh boy! So sad. I'm gonna miss uh, it. You got yourself. Uh, your host is gonna be Jimmy Franks, uh, coupled with Boots, Isfahan, Nacho Gulag, Portax, and Frank West. Uh, your artist will be uh, Amelia Blank, and uh, give it up for Adam Bozarth. Woo! Well done, Adam. Working those Yay. Well done. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back shortly. Uh, and uh, remember, we're doing this thing and we're hurting ourselves. Uh, if you donated, that would be great.